Hey guys, it's Alex here from Potato Squared, and we're going to show you today about some artillery, as you can see by the vast amount of artillery I have here. I'm going to be covering the three generalistic types of artillery, which is Scorpion slash Polybolos, Ballista, and then Onagers, my personal favorite, Onagers. Um, but yeah, I'm going to just go left to right here according to my little formation things. First off is the Greek Scorpion. It is the lightest form of artillery. It is mobile artillery because the two types of artillery are field and fix. Fixed, of course, not being able to move. And then field, being able to move. All right, and I had my friend here move some units up because these guys, they are the lightest artillery. They do the least damage and they have terrible range. They are all around a pretty crappy unit, but it's better than no artillery. And um, while they're firing, I'm just going to talk for a quick bit about the different types of rounds. I mean, artillery is really similar in a lot of ways to archers. They have standard flammable rounds. They have the um, they have explosive rounds. Now, archers obviously can't fire explosives, but well, not in this day and age. But yeah. Scorpions, being the crappy units they are, they don't have explosive rounds, which do extra damage against infantry. These guys just have flammable rounds, which does extra damage against buildings, especially like wooden buildings. And then, like archers, they also have fi toggle of toggling fire at will. They don't have skirmish mode, though, because you can't really move artillery fast enough to be in skirmish mode. And then, like horses, like cavalry, you can dismount them off of the siege equipment and just have the unit itself if you need to clear out and you can't move fast enough with your artillery. So yeah, that's scorpions. I don't care much for them. I'm just going to dismount them and move them to the banishment zone. Yeah, the next step I wanted to show you the fixed artillery version of scorpions, which are Greek polybolos. They're medium fixed artillery, which means they're better, but they also can't move, which is kind of problematic also they don't have a type of they don't have different firing types they don't have like flammable rounds or anything you just get what you pay for basically and as i said before the scorpions and polybolos do not have nearly as good range and cannot fire on these bat guys which you can see with the little x here unlike the onagers and ballista which is an easy shot He's good. I mean, the, the scorpions and the polybolos are really good for just like peppering the enemy, but they're not really good for hard hitting. I mean, I'm just gonna let them fire another round and send them to the hog banishment. I know I covered the scorpions really quickly because that, but it's because there's not a whole lot to talk about. They're pretty wimpy. There's nothing really special about them. There's no DLC to make them more powerful or anything. I'm sure you can find like mods or something, but I personally am not one that uses mods. It's just not who I am. But enough about me. Um, next up we have the Ballista. Ballista. Ballista are fun. They're really good against infantry. Maybe not so much a castle wall, but if you're like in a battle, like in this battle where it's a plains and you're fighting against another enemy army and not a provincial capital I would recommend these guys they're they're fun stuff they fire the giant like pole wooden poles into the enemy it's pretty cool to watch they also get to show off the explosive round which I would spoke about earlier with the scorpions that they do not have and I'm gonna show that off a little bit I'd like it if the target could be a standstill can see them firing fairly accurate better if the unit's not moving though of course I mean chances are the unit would be moving ooh that was a good shot you can see they're just getting trucked forget forgive my use of slang I'm just if you don't truck means it means they're getting hurt badly yeah, so now I'm also going to show off the different types of rounds. There's one more round besides explosive and flammable. It's called poison round. And I'll talk about that extensively here in a little while. I'm 
just going to show off flammable first. Basically, I mean, you, you douse the shot in oil. I may have been actually wrong when I said it was a pole. I think it is a rock. But... Yeah, they basically douse it in oil and light on fire and fire it. It's really good against buildings, like, I don't know, a castle wall or a watchtower. You can see it's also a lot more visible, like where the shot hits. Not very good against infantry, though. I mean, it sets units on fire, that's all well and good. I enjoy it. The whole, if you if you get your kicks out of watching people set on fire, it's, that's, that's good for you. But, <laughs> um, anyway. Yeah, I'm going to show you the more effective thing. This is built specifically for infantry. It does a lot more damage against infantry than standard round does, but it's also less accurate. So I'm going to have him stop moving. And I'm going to show off explosive rounds real quick. Yeah, so the, the thing they're firing actually changes. It's no longer the... Uh, it's no longer rocks. It's actually like pots that explode and shoot fragments. Or at least, that's the idea. I mean, I'll code, really, but you know what I mean. Yeah, so. You can also see the loss of accuracy there. How they're firing way over, like, under. Which means it's going to use more ammo, but it's also going to do a lot more damage when it hits. That was a good shot. Blew a hole in them. Anyway, yeah, so that's that's Ballista. I'd say it's the best type of artillery if you're fighting against units. Although, I would recommend Onagers over Ballista in the event of the siege. Yeah, I'm just going to send them to the area of management now. Anyway, this is the fixed artillery version of Ballista. It's called the Giant Ballista because as can be seen here, it's huge, which also kind of makes it immobile. But with its immobility, it makes up for it in its power. And also its range, it has a really good range. I can fire on his general unit from my position way, way, way back there with the Greek Ballista. In fact, I'm going to exemplify that. I'm even going to put on explosive rounds just to show you. Like, you can see how far he can fire. Ballista have insanely good range, which makes them pretty useful. trying to get through this video really quickly we did a um, first take that you guys aren't going to be able to see but it was it was kind of like that first video with the spear so yeah sometimes I go on rants it's a problem it really is all right that's enough of that now for the last type of artillery the general arch types this one is onagers i'm just going to start out small and show you just straight greek onagers i mean onager is basically a number, another name for catapult and i'm pretty sure most everyone's heard of catapults from the medieval times yeah i'm just going to choose a target at random here and fire on them as the whole fire at will drop siege equipment but what what onagers have that the other units don't have is poison rounds. They can fire dead cattle at enemies, which reduces their melee attack. Actually, no, it reduces my, sorry. It reduces your melee attack, your melee defense, and your firing range, as in like how far you can fire. But it also reduces their attack and defense, and it reduces their firing range, and it causes fatigue. Honestly, 
in general, the artillery crews that aren't exactly the best fighters. So, I wouldn't worry too much about them using the attack and defense. That's not exactly a big deal. If a Spear Brothers gets close enough to attack an artillery crew, your artillery crew has done it. I mean, there's no safe mode. So yeah, I'm just going to really quickly show off poison rounds now. And then get to the one I was really hoping to show, which is Beehive Onagers. It's a DLC unit. And instead of firing traditional rocks, they shoot beehives, which does po it basically works as a poison round, only it's your only option. And it has a really cool cinematic, well not cinematic, but you can actually see the beehives and when they explode some bees come at them. And the units are like freaking out. And also as you can see here, I'm showing it to you, you can see the cows getting shot at people. And they have a... Um, poison round, loss of morale, among other stuff. So, it's good for demoralizing units if you then want to pound them into dust. So yeah, I'm going to take these guys off the thing here. Yeah, I have a general about my, you know about cavalry, we already talked about that. But yeah, so now I got beehive onagers. Um, you're going to have to forgive me, they're in the forest, that may affect their ability to fire, but it works as basically onagers, but in, but they fire pretty much only poison rounds, and the poison rounds are in the form of beehives, which are far more effective. Yeah, so you can see it does the poison round stuff. Reduces the enemy's melee attack and offense and causes fatigue, but it also causes them to route. Well, this one specifically, but that's probably because he took fire from that Belize, among others. This has been our giddy big units, so I, I kind of expect them to come out. But say if I fired on um, these Club Levy back here. Yeah, it's unfortunate. You really can't mess with them. You can't change the fire thing. I really wish you could like set the beehives on fire and make them explode. That would be really cool. I mean... I'm gonna try to zoom in and let you see the bees. Yeah, you can see the bees right here. It's, they kind of fade out, but I think it's pretty cool. And you can see the bee hives hitting. You can actually hear the noise, or at least I can. Anyway, yeah, that's beehive onagers. Nothing super special, but I enjoy. Um, before I hop over to Greek heavy onagers, or just heavy onagers in general, really. I wanted to talk really quick that we're not going to be talking about this, but there's a Ballista equivalent too, actually, to the Beehive Onagers, and it's called the Snake Pot Ballista and the Scorpion Pot Ballista. They are Ballista that you specifically train. They fire, well, pots, of course, that house either snakes or scorpions, depending on whether or not you're playing Carthage or Parthia, which are which have one of each, respectively. It fired the whole DLC that comes with the bees. It's all part of one DLC. So yeah, I recommend it. They all fire po it all causes poison damage, but I think it's kind of entertaining to see like the scorpions being fired on people. It's kind of cool looking. Yeah, so I'm just gonna move the art. I'm just gonna move the onagers up real quick. Luckily, it's still on fast forward, so it shouldn't take very long at all. But yeah, onagers, the heavy onagers specifically are the last thing I want to show. These are the big daddies. These are also my personal favorite type of siege equipment. They are really, really effective at taking down a castle wall, and they're also mobile. Although, to be honest, I mean, they're, they're just about as powerful as the fixed artillery is, but these guys are mobile. However, because they're onagers, they're catapults, they suffer in accuracy, so I wouldn't suggest using them against, say, small numbers of troops. Now, if they're clustered, that's a different story. But, I mean, they're, they're, they're most effective against, say, a provincial capital or if you need to break down some kind of wall or something. That's why I'd probably try to use them for over other reasons. Anyway, they're lined up now, so I'm going to go ahead and take a shot at these guys. Also, onagers like these other ones here, with the exception of the beehives, they do not have explosive rounds, which is used against infantry for the obvious reason that they're not really built again to go against infantry. They also have the poison and the flammable like their smaller brother. Brother. 
just going to take a quick shot. They fire a lot bigger shots, first of all, and when they land, they also do a lot more damage. It's basically the bigger version. I mean, that's bigger and better in every way than the smaller than their smaller cousins. That's really what they are. They're really there's not really a better way to work. So yeah, that's artillery for you. I spoke besides the whole um, snake pot and scorpion pot ballista, which I couldn't show you due to it not being part of the, this faction. You can definitely check that out on your own. Um, you want to look at the pa factions Carthage for the snake pot and Parthia for the scorpion as I mentioned before Thank you guys for watching. This has been Alex with potato squared Please rate like comment subscribe. Please check out our survey. We really need survey answers on that It's part of a project for our school that we're doing and any any help you give us would be really appreciated Thank you guys once again, and I'll see you all next week. We have this